I'll knock you the f out. You don't know who you're talking to. Show me. You back yourself? Nah, I'm gonna be right here too. I'm trying to be nice before I lose my temper. Like, hey! Stop breaking face, man. A customer claims to possess an antique necklace. Can you help me, sir? I'm trying to get a nice deal on my antique necklace. It's been passed down from generation to generation. My grandfather gave it to me, okay? His grandfather, grandfather gave it to him. But Les quickly loses interest upon inspecting it. So how much can I get? Well, you can't get anything. It's not diamonds, it's not gold, it's just crystals. Why can't I get some for it then? Because we don't take crystal. Les has a different idea. I'll take your rings. The rings ain't for sale today. How much would you buy this for? I won't take that apart because we only take precious metal. Yes. And But I think you need to work something out with me, man. What are you standing here for, man? Tell me, brother. It's antique, man. Nope. They fail to reach a mutually agreeable deal with Les. I'm antique, bro. I don't want to talk. Me and you. No deal. Deal. No deal. How much you gonna give me for? I'm gonna start running away out the door. Hey, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, bro, man. Hold on. I can leave on my own. Hey, what's up? Big fella. Have a nice day. Yeah, what's up? Give me the ring. I'll take the ring in pawn. Don't worry about it. A young man enters the pawn shop. I'm trying to see how much I can get for this. I'm trying to get like, I'm trying to get at least a honey for it. A hundred thousand? Yeah. I won't even be able to sell it for near that. So how much can you give me, man? Twenty bucks. I need my money. I understand. I'm gonna need at least a hundred dollars for this. You pay two hundred for that? I've ever heard. Two hundred. I'll sell you. Man. I'll sell you like four of them for less than that. Why would I want to buy? I'm trying to get money for it. With a firm stance on the amount he wants for his item. I need more than twenty dollars. Why is there more staff out here? Get some help. I've been waiting for an hour. I need to see a manager right now. Les becomes aware of the commotion and approaches the scene. Man. Who are you calling old mother? Old man. The man makes a decision that he quickly regrets. Who the f are you calling him? Really, mother? I got this. I you got it. You want to give me more than twenty dollars? Les chooses to personally deal with the young man's demands. I've been waiting for an hour. Me? You? Yes. A man approaches Les, aiming to strike a deal. Let me at least like four hundred for this watch from here. It's worth a twenty. Mm -hmm. How much you pay for it? Maybe like seven. Yeah, man, tell me the truth. What'd you really pay? Tell you the truth, man. Yeah, Come on, give me four. Did. Give me four for this watch, man. Come on, man. His request is deemed unreasonable. Give me like four fifty for this Why watch. Why are you yelling at me? I got a baby on the way, dog. Congratulations. I'm sick of living, I'm sick of living at the f crib, man. Come on, give me four hundred for this. Hard. The man becomes increasingly agitated. Baby, on the way to go do this blue to me, dog. You said it. I didn't say it. Hey, give me some cash for this watch, man. Four hundred. No, I'm sorry. Hey, this is a blue ass place, man. This whole ass place, dog. The situation escalates as the man starts causing a scene. Tip, dog, man. Y'all, man, it's a blue. Uh, excuse me. Hey, bitch, pick Tip, it up. Dog. You call it what? Hey, who the you calling a bitch? You. I'll knock you the f out. You don't know who you're talking to. Show me. Les has enough. Touch me, homie, dog. Touch me, dude. I'm out this. A customer arrives at the pawn shop. Looking towards pawning my TV and my DVD player. Can't take that. And realistically, I'm not going to be able to give you a loan on that TV. It wouldn't matter much to me. I would rather sit here and talk to you. He begins boasting about his life achievement. I really is somebody, you know? I really am. You seem to be hero of this nation in which you're standing in today. I have been an all-American football player. I got a $80,000 resume. I was security slash homeland security off. I'm only 20. Okay. You can't find nobody else that like that. Seth remains focused on the transaction. There's nothing I can do for you. This stuff is just too old. Look, I'm trying not to just make this difficult. You know a lot of me? I said Perfect. You understand? F it and take it out of here. The customer leaves and the store returns to business as usual. I don't. You think you scare me? Go get the f out of here. You make. You want to see me making? Yeah. Walk. Back up, dude. I ain't touching you. Don't touch me, man. Cause man, I break his face, man. I bitch press your weight, low, dude. Why don't you take that piece of shit and get off the property? Okay, Squeaky. Time for you to go. Having run out of gas, this gentleman walks in to get some money. Hey, what that electronic set, man? 
Let's see what you I got. I ran out of gas in, in the damn parking lot. It doesn't matter how much it costs, man. I just need $150. 30. I want my 150, please. I 35. Like. Seth does not budge from his offer. That's it. Either I want, want $100. It. I'm not leaving your store. You better get three bodyguards for me. I really don't need nobody. It's just gonna be me. Let's go, hey. bro. Things get heated really quickly. Hey, nah. <laughs> this <laughs> man. Get off me. Think I'm playing with y'all? They got a little bit pushed. Y'all, I want y'all help me out, man. Turn right. Oh, 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 I do. Two ladies walk in looking for someone in particular. Is it Ashley in here? Mm -hmm. Today is my birthday. Mm -hmm. You all said my ring is not here. Where the hell is my ring? Is the uh, ring in pawn? Is, is it in layaway? He brought a receipt in here, and you all said he came. Do and you have it up. the receipt? He came up here with the receipt. Well, who the hell is Ashley? They become more agitated. Do I need to come up here with a lawyer? Got a $20,000 ring up in here. Ashley finally steps in. Yeah, I signed that paper that said that I picked my up. You don't have a dumb bitch here. You walking up on me for your ass can get drunk too. You want to? I ain't seen you want to? A customer with a pair of golf clubs. Got a problem with this guy down there. Tell me he want to take these golf clubs because they spoiling. This is spoiling? Yeah, man. man. Spoiling. But what's wrong with him? How much did you want for him? At least 150. I can go 10 bucks. The customer gets angry. $10 for all these clubs? All of them. Dad, let me see a manager, man. Hello? You're not no manager, man. This is Joe, the manager. Who, him? Get out of here. You're not going to give me no crackhead price. Les has no choice but to lead him out. Whatever. I ain't going nowhere until I get my money. I want my 150. I know that much. Get the off the here. furniture. It'd be the worst day of your life if you don't. Bruh, look at you and look at me. Look at him and look Man, at him. That I go. Security is there and takes care of it. What you walking behind me for, cuz? Things at the shop get very tense between two customers. It all seems to have been resolved quickly, but not until the customers get outside. The older woman was outside waiting on the younger woman. Get your ass. Walk, walk up. What a guy, run up. Oh, Hey, hey, she's going in her purse. Yes! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. A mother and daughter are looking to get their item back. I've lost my television. I ain't got time for this stupid ass. I will be talking to my lawyer about this, okay? So, and you are? I'm her mother. Oh, okay. Rich seems to have figured out the problem. We are going to take care of that. Rodney's going to bring your TV up. Take the finger. Y'all lost the TV, and we yes, still got to pay the police to get it out. But why are we dealing with you? Les has had enough of the customer, and things go completely south. She leaves, with... then I leave. You don't get your money. She's the one who's brought That's me That's fine. Here. Take the TV back. that ticket. I want my TV or some cash. Give him this money before I nut up in this motherfucker. I had a police up in this motherfucker, or I can come back by another way. After a couple of back and forths, they finally resolve the issue. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? Because you're you all in my face. Please go outside. You're making me upset. Okay, handle it. I would have <laughs> that old man up. Get that <laughs> out my face. You too, stupid son of a bitch. Get him up. Like. He's like, no, he gave me the exact replicate of my TV. I was sitting up there, signature, trying to the rat bag. Damn. This customer seems to be very tired of waiting. Dog, how long I gotta stand here, man? I mean, just give me the and dog. The employee makes a comment, and Les has to approach. I'm probably older than your ass, but chill out. Don't start with me for real, fam. Tripping. I'm straight from what? So, but why do you keep talking? What you got? How much you want for this? Pay hundred shoes, thirty something. Well, so how about ten bucks for this? Man, all right, take okay. for ten dollars, yeah. man. Once outside, things escalate quickly. I'll f that up for real. <laughs> you see, he told you his face. It ain't about not wanting nothing, big dog, because if we was in the hood, it'd have been went down. You feel if me? If we was in the hood, I would have wrecked your bitch ass. Ain't no security around me right now. You try to do this. Security and Seth have to step in. 
If I was scared, I'd been ready to be real. You feel me? If you want to do something, you see where I'm at, big dog. So are you leaving now? Yeah, I'm, I'm finna leave. So go. Hey, for real. Or he could meet me in the hood. You're done, right? Yeah, I'm good. All right, thanks. Up next, a customer who is confused. Three diamonds? Perfect. All you need to do is buy something that has gold on it. We charge you for the gold and we give you free diamonds. This ain't free diamonds. Exactly like right. Just... Free diamonds. Why would you put that sign up? You should have, like, a little word. On if the you sign, buy something, you get it free. That's what's advertising, man. This some bull However, he seems to not understand and starts to get agitated. I love diamonds. That's what I'm coming here for. Bull You're 100% Just like this right. bull that sign. What's up, bro? Why you standing over me like that? Well, you need to take that sign right here, and you need to put the extra word that he say. Other than that, man, with that. You want to help, man? You, you ain't. I don't need your help. I'm waiting for my free diamond. Lying ass bitch. Security comes in and resolves the situation. A liar, man. Time to go. Man, what the? F man, get off me, dog. Don't it's don't time touch. To go. I don't need you to touch me. Diamonds for free. That's bull. Lying ass motherfucker, man. This next customer walks in with determination. I want to pound this TV. Okay. I'm looking for 400. What can you do? I can go 100. Excuse me? I need more than that. I have to pound this TV, but I can't give you more. Less still does not budge, and the situation escalates. My ex-boyfriend hit for me. I have to get away. You see this? What did yeah. he do to you I last night? He beat me up last night. You clearly don't see that. I don't. So you have beautiful me. skin. I can I tell you yes. that. I'm trying to be nice before I lose my temper. It's like, can you just give me the money? Les has had enough and shows him the door. I think you want to call security because I'm about to act the floor. Turn around. I don't need call. to call security. You don't need to call them. What the f you going to do? Anyway, like I said, need for 100. I, I think, honestly, no. Nah. You, I will never come back to my American jewelry alone. What the f you looking at? No, like, I'll never come back to this bitch. Having had his Xbox pawned by his girlfriend, this customer wants it back. Girlfriend, she came up here and she got rid of my Xbox 360 and I came up here to get it back. Give you my information. Yeah, but it's not under your name. So here's what you gotta do. No, I, no. You wanna you listen? Can, you can just give me my 360. No, I'm not just gonna give you your well, 360. Ashley tries to explain, but the customer does not seem to listen. You okay. just need to give me my stuff. No, I don't need to do anything. I don't for have you. no ticket. Okay. What well, y'all supposed to have some security guards or something? Can I just have no. my stuff? Stop right here. And I'll sell, sell you one for two hundred dollars. No, I can grab one. Hey, get him. Hey. Get out of here. Get the f out now. Uh, don't ever step back. You my gonna back. make me move? Bye. A customer is looking to borrow his item from a loan. I got a keyboard in here. I got a recording gig I got to do, and I only need to know if I could borrow it for just an hour. Come back and give you the money. That's not how it works. He has a keyboard and pawn. Uh huh. And he wants to borrow it. Les tells him that he needs something to compensate. I was gonna leave you my ID if I could. That ID ain't no good anyway because the date's been cut off. Give me a ring. That's we, my Liberace. You see, you know. Can you come out here so I can talk to you, Liberace? All I'm asking you, my man. Can somebody get this big bell off of me? Man, you can't work where I'm at. Excuse me, bro. My bad. My bad. See, I was gonna buy a microphone too. I ain't buying. Put money off him. I'll take your ring. You is not getting my ring, man. The customer, bothered by security, makes some bad decisions. Come back when you get the money if to I take get the care keyboard, of it. That's how I'm going to get the money. But you ain't going to get the keyboard. Liberace, it's time to go. Bro, I've been waiting on no, no. Have a good hey, hold on. Let's have a good day. Yeah. I wouldn't touch me if yeah, I was you. What you see what I'm saying, man? Right. Next up, we, next, a customer is looking to get his item back. But there seems to be an issue. I got a big TV in here. I'm here to pay on it today. When you pay the $20, she gives you one month from your date. And she told me I get two more months. No. Pay for the extension. She told me that I have two more months of extension. You should have been here November the 1st. This is my point right here. She told me two months. Les makes a promise, but hopes the customer is wrong. No one has ever said to anyone, you get two more months when you pay your extension. If you said that the October 1st, I would not be here now. I'm sorry, your item is gone. That's some bull****, man. If my girl made a mistake, we'll be, uh, we'll honor that document, no question. A couple of hours later, the customer is back. Do you have your receipt? I don't have the documentation. Even if it was two months, it would have been November the 1st, am I correct? You're still late. It's past due. You sitting here in the hood and you raping folks. Where's the respect? You back us off? No, I'm gonna be right here because you're swearing to him. Have a nice day. F you too. What am I doing to your boss? Oh, I gotta do. What am I doing to your boss? Do a bulletproof grass? A customer with a couple of items 
which Seth knows the authenticity of. I got some Cardis right here. You seen them? Look at them. They the real deal. And these were fake. I got an Xbox as well. 100 on those, and I'm not interested in your glasses. You a funny guy. I'm you got a manager. Funny. You got no, a manager right you're talking now. talking to one. I ain't going nowhere till I see the manager. Seth decides enough is enough. I, I'm not leaving. No, out the real deal. He's the manager. You're Perfect. Crazy man. So now you get zero. Get some real glasses, B. <laughs> crazy. They disrespected the hell out of me. Starting things off, a customer wants to sell his necklace. Um, do you know what this is? Sterling silver. Well, 200. Give me one second. All right, so I just tested this. Um, it's actually not sterling silver. Tensions rise. It's real. Let's check it again. No, your machine's f***ed up. It's real. So, you're it, lying to me. Don't you think I want to help you out? No, you don't want to help me out. You're a bitch. You're talking to me in a rude tone, snotty Give me my shit back. Security has to intervene. You. Me? You. I brought my shit up here to it's you. What are you going to do? Get out of our store. Keep you going. Bitch! Almost there. Thank you. A customer walks in with some very suspicious items. I need about $200 for this. What, what's this? But they're not actually his, are they? Things escalate quickly. You gon' buy this from me. Ugly ass is smirk looking motherfucker. Get the mama mother And security has to come. You better be glad he saved your ass motherfucker. I have customers that are coming in and out at all times. I need to go out there and make sure that this guy doesn't interfere with them. Security has to escort him out, and Seth makes sure he never comes back. You know who the f I am? Do bitch, stuff up. Bitch your ass, mother. Pray for your ass, man. Great. I bless your ass in the name of Jesus, you bitch. Thank you. Bitch. Look, dork. Hey, I'll check my look at mother. A customer looking for a ring. Looking for like a friendship ring? Really love her? Yeah. So, I want to marry her one day. Oh, so engagement ring. You could do that too. How long have you guys been together? 10 years now. His friend keeps nagging him. But well, you just said she was a friend though. Oh, that's How do you not a friendship ring though. I think you're looking like, for $1,500. 1500 That's not like a good, good what? price. So her I for $1,500? I don't pay for There's never nothing free in life. No, I don't want to go no toy. I'm not cheap like that. You lost your I damn mind. You sir, you. sir. Yo, I'm trying to get a Friend. Seth decides to escort the friend out. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of your. I'm you tired of him? I'm, I'm tired of him. Tired I'm, I'm tired of him. We're both tired of him. Fucking fifteen hundred, dude. So what? It's you money. Money. stupid. It's my Wait, money. No. Stupid man. Nah, I don't even want a uh, ring in here now. Don't worry about it, sir. You know, we're up until six. Cousin, you, I didn't get a ring. Cousin, you. Y'all have a good day. All right. You should have knocked the out of big man. Looking to sell a chain, this customer does not have the right attitude. I want to sell this right here. 400. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get you that much to sell it. Probably a couple hundred. Get somebody up here that know what they're talking about, because, bitch, you don't know what you're talking about. Seth sticks to his knowledge and lets the customer know. He wants 400 to sell it. 200. That's about right. Nah, man. That's 14K right there. It's worth it's more 10 carat. You'll know what the f you're talking about. Man, you calling me a liar, man. I'm just saying that you're not being honest. Things get heated, and Seth is not one to mess with. I'm saying, if you feeling that way, man, come on out here and holler at me, man. It's worth 400, man. It's That's what I'm trying to take. We said 200. Get out of my hey, face. Hey, hold up. I'm saying a what? Oh, you want to see? What? It? You're going to see it right now. There you go. Hold up, man. Let's go. Hold up, man. I'm go telling you, me. I ain't going about it. Security proceeds to escort the customer outside. Let go of me, my man. Let me go, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Go where you got to go, my man. All y'all bitches up in this mall. <laughs> 